Sit. Good boy. Hey, my name is Eric Weinmayer, and I'm here in Golden, Colorado at the American Mountaineering Museum. And this is my guide dog, Yuri. I'm here in front of this exhibit of Mount Everest in 2001. I got the privilege of climbing it. I became the first blind person to do so. But more proud is the fact that 19 of my team reached the summit that day. That was a world record, the most people to reach the summit of Everest in a single day. And that launched me into all sorts of adventures, climbing the seven summits, the tallest peak in every continent, and uh, just recently getting to kayak the entire length of the Grand Canyon, 277 miles. But I'm most proud of the fact of helping to co-found No Barriers, this organization, this movement that helps people with challenges to break through barriers, to tap into the light of the human spirit, and find purpose in their lives. About 20 years ago, I got invited on a climb, a climb of this beautiful desert tower by two heroes of mine. One is Mark Wellman. He was the first paraplegic to climb El Capitan by doing pull-ups up the rock face for eight days. And Hugh Herr, who after losing his legs, built his own prosthetic legs and became a better climber than he ever was before that. The three of us climbed this beautiful tower and got to spend some time together on the summit. And it was such a profound experience for me because I looked at these two people and I said, what, first of all, is inside them? Like, what is that thing inside them that, that takes hardship, that takes struggle and transforms it into something bigger? And I also wanted to understand the process that people like that went through. You know, this process of being broken, being shattered, being stuck, not being in the place that you want to be. And that murky sort of journey from that place to the summit, whatever that looks like, I really wanted to understand that. And I wanted to understand that map, if there is a map that we can build, that we can navigate in our lives. And that became the beginnings of No Barriers. No Barriers is predicated on this idea that what's within us is stronger than what's in our way. We help people with challenges. That's not just folks like me who are blind with physical disabilities, but folks with invisible barriers. That's most of us. Break through those barriers. Tap into the light of the human spirit. Find purpose in their lives and contribute back to the world. When we look at equipping ourselves for this journey of growth in our lives, it's really important to understand the learning process and to break it down into these universal elements, these things that we have to go through, that we have to understand, that we have to confront, that we have to harness along the way so that we go through that journey and we've made some profound change within ourselves and the, and the world. We've identified seven of these very important elements and the first begins with vision. Vision is not necessarily looking into the future. It's more looking at what we have inside and trying to grow that thing and trying to use it to blaze our own path forward. Reach is the courage to live in an uncertain way, to push ourselves, to stretch ourselves. Pioneering is this idea of engineering our future of seeing ourselves as a modern day pioneer, developing systems and strategies and tools that are gonna be the foundation to carry us forward. Alchemy is such an important element because when we reach, when we pioneer, inevitably we will be crushed. There will be a moment we are just thrown on our butt. And alchemy is the idea of using the energy of that adversity as a catalyst to propel us forward. Rope team is an idea that came from the mountains because when you're on a glacier, you're actually roped together. You summit together or you die together. And if you are a great rope team, you lift each other up. You are the best version of yourself because of that team. And you go to places that you would have never gone to in any other way. Summits is a tricky one because sometimes we're driving towards a summit and it may be the obvious summit, but there are all kinds of moments along the way that are these awakening moments, these celebratory moments, these little 
moments of recognition uh, that our lives are moving in the right direction. To elevate is the culmination of the journey. It's not the moment when we stand on top and we pound our chests and say, look at me, look what I've achieved. It's more when we come down the mountain and we use those experiences, those struggles that we've had, those discoveries that we've made to elevate our family, our community, and the world. I'm known for kayaking rivers and climbing mountains, but I think the challenges, the barriers that we face off the mountain are actually more complex, more nuanced. It's, there's more uncertainty in the world, and no barriers is a way of dissecting this process, of understanding what it means, of building tools, of building a new mindset, a new belief system that helps us go forward in really refreshing, transformative ways.